Keegan and Brenda Namira. We're 1030 regulars at UDLC. We've been attending you at UDLC for about 20 years and we'll have been married 29 years in a couple weeks here. Um, Dottie asked us to talk about our faith journey, um, especially during this interesting time. And uh, so we want to tell you a little bit about where we come from and, uh, and where we are now. Um, I guess I'll start. I'm a cradle Lutheran, uh, baptized in the Lutheran Church in Columbus, Ohio, and uh, grew up in the Lutheran Church and uh, managed to uh, bring this guy into the Lutheran Church with me, but I'll let him talk about that more. So I am not a cradle Lutheran. I was actually born and raised Catholic. Um, and I was Catholic until I went off to college and I met a good Lutheran girl who um, had long discussions with me about uh, various aspects of theology and about grace and about the saving and healing power uh, of the Word. And so I, uh, I changed from being Catholic to being Lutheran and have been just as happy as can be ever since. So one of the things that I really love about being a Lutheran is that study and questioning and discussion is part of who we are and I have taken the opportunity throughout my life to um, avail myself of any additional opportunities for uh, for deeper study. I am a, a diaconia graduate and, uh, have, and at previous congregations as well have always uh, taken the opportunity to study and to learn about what it is that we as Lutherans believe, and also the history of the church and where we come from. And it really informs my faith um, now. And, and I think that having an understanding of your faith and understanding, well, what is it that Lutherans believe is especially important in times of trouble. When things are easy, there's a lot of ways to get through that. But it's when times are tough that you really need to to understand, you know, what are the tenets of faith that you can rely on, um, and especially during this pandemic time that is that has been so challenging and so difficult, you know, we are really blessed. I mean, from a from the job security standpoint and from a, the health standpoint of our own immediate family and our extended family, um, you know, we have not been we have not been touched, we've not been damaged by this nearly as hard as others have. And so the burden that we carry in this pandemic time is so light compared to what so many others are doing. And we're, we're just eternally grateful for that and always try to be grateful for it. But it's still wearying. <laughs> I mean, there are still a lot of moments when despair can creep in and um, you can just be kind of overwhelmed by it and wondering where are we, what's going on, what is the point of doing anything. Um, well, and in addition to our own situation, we are, of course, the parents of the four famous Namira children. And uh, um, we have seen them miss out on a lot. Um, we have two college students who um, spent partial semesters taking classes online. And of course, Lucy uh, gra just graduated and missed a very significant portion of her senior year. And Beatrice is a sophomore um, who you know, it wasn't as hard as being a senior, but still, she really, really misses being close to her friends. And so, you know, it's not just our own situation, but seeing what our kids are going through that has, um, has been most difficult for us. One of the things that I think about in faith, I think about how the Holy Spirit is among us and is present among us, is the way that God is described as a, as a light unto my path. Um, when you're stumbling around in the dark, it's scary. It's really terrifying not to know where you're going and how you're going to get there. Um, and I feel as though in this time, being able to rely on God is like a light onto the path. Now, I, I still don't know which way the path is going. I don't know. I, I really I don't know what the ultimate destination is. Okay, But at least I can see my feet and I can see a few feet in front of me. So I'm not going to stumble and trip and fall. I know that within this circle and in this time, I'm led and I'm guided and I'm protected. And that takes away a lot of the terror that this time could, uh, could really engender. For me, one of the 
the most wonderful things about being a Lutheran is I love our motto, which is God's work, our hands. And that is how, for me, the most meaningful member of the Holy Trinity is the Holy Spirit for me. And so the, I see the Holy Spirit at work. Even when we are separated from each other, I see people going out and doing God's work for justice, for peace, to help our neighbors, um, to take food to, our, to people who are in need, to provide work for those who are in need. Um, and I see that the, the work of the Holy Spirit goes on through our hands. And so I just want to emphasize how, much, how important that part of the whole thing is. Because I am somebody who struggles sometimes with faith, but I always see God at work in the people around me. And so you are what gives me the faith and the strength to go on. So God bless you all. And we hope that you stay safe and sane and healthy uh, in this pandemic time.